Hello humans and non-humans alike and good ever applies to you. Today we are back on Pillars of Eternity PS4 Let's Play. Where we are currently in the catacombs. Getting ready to go into the Temple of Orca and continue the story. Let's see what lies the Everyone kill the skeletal fighter. He's the only one there. No, I'm trying to exit scouting out. There, unpause. Just... This one repel. No prisoners. Exit scouting mode. Okay, that's it. Never, never order people to attack when they're in scouting mode. It has disastrous results, as you have seen. And yep, another of these things. Hello. Hello. Money. I'll take that. Fine scale armor. I can sell that. So it's basically Secrets money. Whisper here. I shall listen for them. Dank spore. Where do you see? What is a dank spore? Oh, that. The fuck. Yeah, no, I see it, but I don't care about it. It's not in anywhere we could actually attack it yet. Okay, now it's somewhere we can hit it. Kill that thing! The fuck is that? You won't see me coming. Okay, everyone, hit hit this troll. Uh, maybe wounding shot that thing. Okay. Back to your regularly scheduled murdering attempt. Make sure you kill its accuracy, please. And why am I standing directly next to it with the bow and- Oh, shit, they just called in reinforcements. I mean, they literally just called in reinforcements. Where the fuck did all these things come from? A dare! I'm pretty sure I gave you a... Yeah, do that. Excellent! Skeleton army, please. Okay, I'm knocked down. It's an acceptable reason why you're not attacking. And... Now then... Uh, burn one of these guys' souls. Uh, this one. Wait, why can't I control Itamuk like I usually can? Oh, that's weird. Oh, wait, he's been mind controlled. Oh, okay. That's not good. That's uh, very not good. And I'm getting beaten up in melee combat. We're losing, folks. I really don't care about the damn stuff. Okay, we lost another skeleton. That's fine. This is definitely okay. Kill as many skeletons as you want. I can just summon more. Uh, actually, no, let's try, uh, no, why am I clicking this? Okay, uh, 
Yeah, I'm getting hit pretty badly, so there. Try that. Now all the damage I take is being reapplied to everyone else. Okay, good. We took out a troll. Excellent. Now then, Adair, who are you hitting? Spoiling? Ignore it. Hit the troll. Everyone aim for the troll at this point. This troll is a much greater threat. Do resurrect, uh, do heal your uh, pet though, please. And it's a muck has been taken over once Get again. Stop, stop mind controlling the animal, please. Okay, lay on hands, and I need that shit. And damn, this is actually getting pretty uh, half-assed. <laughs> okay, you switch to melee weapon. And go after this one. I need some backup here. Kana, you switch to a melee weapon too, please. And bare hands does not count. <laughs> Uh, Grieving Mother, get a 40. Okay, and then use the uh, scream thing. Silent scream. I could hit Palagina and it would affect much more people, but <laughs> let's not do that. Then just take raw damage, motherfucker! Okay, heal your pets, and, uh... Okay, everyone can now hit the spore. Kill it! Yay! We survived! Alright, don't elude everything. The dank spores. As long as it's not a dank meme. And Wodica Hood. What now? You give me any more gifts, and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Brave does Kill the spore! Oh fuck. Took over a dare, that's not good. No! Uh Okay, no, it's just Temporarily did something to him. Again, if someone kill this spore, it's annoying me. Kill it! Kill it with fire! I'd gladly show the road, but the pack won't hold anymore. My thoughts will be as you liar! As feet. This pack can hold as much as we stuff into it. We automatically come with the bag What's of holding. This? An opal. Alright, that's catacombs completely explored. So I guess that just leaves Temple of Wodka now. Excuse me. Alright, let's go. Alright then, let's go. To the Temple of Wodka. If I feel like using a weird accent, I will use a weird accent. Deal with it. Into the temple we go.
You hear nothing. And also, spellbinds are in the quick item section. I know that now. Hmm. I could give everyone an outfit and oh. Oh. Okay, what is this? An older room. In front of you looms the ghostly hollow image of the man who was present at your awakening. He casts pale, sickly light in the dank corner at the corridor as he regards you. You are from Kratu, my boy. His words are an echo in your mind from a time long past, and you know your response before you speak it, as if it has always been. Yes, I was born there. A remarkable city, truly one of the most impressive we have encountered outside of our own. Many exceptional people who have joined our cause come from Kratum. What made you decide to join our order? Uh... Uh, I, I, I don't know what's your order. <laughs> Blood and key, uh, the world needs to know about the true gods. Remember never to be discouraged by those who cling to their beliefs. They are worthy of our pity, not our scorn. Are you ready to take the oath to spread the word of the gods to the lost and heathen? No. Uh, wait, wait, wait. A court of spirits completed. Aloth returns to Stronghold. Okay. South of the Isle, travels in a collection of angry spheres gathering near a circle of cracked dodger pillars. Was brave enough to venture near the spirits have reported that they appear to be arguing about some long-forgotten legal matters. <laughs> okay. Aloth was prepared to fight a mob of angry spirits in the circle of Alger Pillars, but quickly discovered that the Shade simply wanted resolution to a number of old disputes. Surprisingly cognizant for spirits, the Shades presented their cases over several long hours. Aloth acted as the group's arbiter, handing down decisions and putting the spirits to rest. After the last pair of bickering spirits faded into the beyond, Aloth discovered the remains of previous trespassers, including a fine belt of meditative chimes on the belt of an unfortunate monk. Cool. We got random shit. And it would probably be in my treasury at the keep. And there appears to be a guard there. So let's go this way. Hello. Hello? Hmm, this is a hidden door. Well, let's go talk to the guard first. Just because. The mercenary eyes you early as you approach his weapon ready. What are you doing here? You don't look like one of that masked lot. Take care, watcher. This one's mind is edged. He seeks to know your purpose. Uh, relax. How would I know to be here if I didn't belong? Thinks carefully or not. All right, then go on in and report to the acolyte, and she'll give you your assignment. And that should be just about finished. They should be just about finished with their meeting in the big chamber. Uh, farewell. I have a feeling if I ask him too many questions, he's gonna realize I don't belong here, and he'll attack. It's just a free healing. He won't see me coming. No prisoners. Okay, that's a lot of animosity Bring towards a random trap. I don't think I'd ever get rid of Kana and my party. Kill them all! Uh, I think I just made him too useful. He's now a required Bring them member. Down. Uh, foot pads hood. Stealthy. And as a bit of perception. I think you hear the faint sound of whispering coming through from the skull, but the words aren't intelligible. All right, then let's keep going. Let's keep going. Okay, let's save again. I don't know why, but I feel like it. So we're gonna do it. Do you have a problem? Oh. More mercenaries. Hot with money. Ooh. 
I like money. Temple of Wodica. And I assume this is the big chamber he was talking about. Er, nope, nope, these are still just mercenaries. Hmm, part of me wishes I brought a bunch of traps to set around the joint, since they're not hostile towards me yet. More mercenaries. But these of my tongue, and oh, that's not it. Slow and silent. You give Problem me any blind. more gifts, and people will start thinking you're playing favorites. Initiate. Hello? The lone figure paces back and forth, tapping his fingers at his sides, muttering to himself. He jumps when he sees your hand on his chest. By the flame, you startled me. Where's your mask? It's too itchy. I'll put it back on for the meeting. Well, don't let anyone see you without it. They're keen on anonymity. Uh, tell me about the meeting. This must be your first time. The Acolyte communicates with each of us individually to hear of our progress on old tasks and to assign us new ones. He shivers with a mixture of pleasure. It's a unique process. She's a cipher, so she can speak to you without words. Fascinating, until you realize she could probably read your thoughts just as easily. <laughs> say, Only what I absolutely need to. We protect the secrets of the gods, so discretion is essential. He waves a hand between two of you. We receive our instructions from the acolyte, just as he receives hers from someone else, and so on. Right up to the Grand Master. Our role is to obey, knowing as little about the overall plan and each other as possible. I see. You've been trusted with important work. It's an honor, but not without challenges. Uh, goodbye. Uh, a mask. Is there even a point? Because as soon as I go in, if she's a cipher, she's going to look into my mind, see I don't belong there, and be like, Well, I'm going to kill you now. Yeah, I'm not gonna... wait, uh... No, it's a good idea, I should put it on. Wait, I can't! I'm a godlike! Shit! Well, let's do this. Uh, people can't see my face anyway. So, I'm covered in like a mass of shit. I feel like saving again. <laughs> the term godlike doesn't refer to my ability to carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. Uh, Don the hood and mask. Fit, but just barely. Uh, retreat from the door. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely saving here. I think if I go alone, I'll have some time. I think I should go in alone. I'm not really good enough to go in alone. <laughs> I'm a ranger. Uh, continue. Several shattered figures are lined up across from a hooded woman. Figure at the head of the line approaches her, and the woman places her outstretched hand on the stranger's forehead. They stand in silent communion as you look on. A few moments later, the stranger steps aside and resumes his place in the circle around the statue. The woman turns toward you. She does a double take at your ill fitting hood. You are a late attendant. Even though her face is concealed, you sense her rage and her dangerously low voice, and in the sudden silence of the others in the chamber. I've been waiting on your reports. Quickly now, state your name and purpose. The woman beckons you closer with curling fingers. She rests her open hand on your forehead, and you feel the heat from her palm through the thick material of your hood. Her voice is so low and soft that you are not certain whether she speaks louder in your head. Mutter indistinctly. She snatches her hand back. A piercing scream sounds from under her head. Imposter! Well, gee, how did you figure that out? Yeah, I figured it may have been a bad idea to go on a walk. 
Okay, uh... Grieving Mother... And Sagani with Itamuk. I need you to focus on that mage, otherwise we're all gonna get flamed, flamed to death. Uh, Kana, I want you to switch to melee weapon and try to get these guys. All right, then, people. And everyone's blocking the door. Well. Okay, what to do? Um, I can turn the map around. I feel better, so I can see. You summoned it behind you, really? Ugh. Okay, okay. Um, Palagina is the one in the way, so I need to move her. Okay, how are we doing? Uh, good so far. And, uh, Grieving Mother's being targeted. Uh, why am I not surprised? Hit this one. And Kana's knocked out on the floor. Okay. That's fine, so far. I think. Uh... Okay, how's the situation? Okay, mage has been taken out. We're also fighting. Try to do this near death. Uh, Kana, why don't you do your uh, rejoice the health? Fire the magic healing beam. I'm surprised they don't affect him. Oh, all right. Uh, okay, wait. A grieving mother, you actually have a lot build up. So, a silent scream. So much for you. And damn that, you literally screamed someone to death. Congratulations. Actually, wait and just do it again. Nope. Nope. Trying to scream more people to death. Scream! And now for everyone to kill this dude. And my cat wants out of my room. Okay. Come on. Goodbye. Nope. No Moby. Nope. 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 And the cat freaked out. I figured that would happen. Abitrella, really? You're the one who wanted out. Okay, crumpled at your feet lies the body of a woman. She wears a dark robe that bears an insignia, insi insignia, insignia resembling a key. As you approach the woman's body, a feeling of rage assaults you. The dead woman's voice howls in your ears, and her lingering consciousness rends at yours. Her essence tingles through your bones and membranes. It fills the spaces between your ears and beyond your eyes, clawing deeper into your core. You see a gathering of men and women wearing robes like hers, their faces hidden behind masks. One by one, they approach her, whom they know as an acolyte, and she places her hand on each of their foreheads, searching their thoughts. She tests them with ritualistic questions, and they answer that their oath is sealed by the leaden key. She asks them of their tasks, she gives them new ones, all without a word. Her essence flares, fighting to boil your blood, burn your memory, and splinter your bones from within. Yet between its strikes, you see flashes of something else. A tower, a prison, and a ruin. You funnel all of your concentration into a single effort of will. A sharp point that pins the raging soul in place. Like an insect in a display case. With things under con your control, things under control, you're able to examine it. And three thoughts swirling inside. Hmm. The tower. I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna refer to the tower in the, uh, Heritage District. I'm pretty sure. You see a palimpsest sets of a neighborhood. Run-down estates are cobbled around a cemetery in an ancient tower. Savage shapes prowl the streets, and in the tower, a man hunches over a strange mechanism. You can't see him clearly, but there's something unnatural about him. Somewhere nearby, you see a woman with a scar over her heart. You understand that she has something he needs. 
You also see a door in the base of the tower, a seemingly impenetrable slab of stone and copper. But then the acolyte reveals the invisible split between the perfectly matched halves, and you understand how the copper veins convert a command into action. You know how to open the door. Now the prisoner. In your mind, you see a building, magnificent, with trellises and tiles, and located on a pristine boulevard. The wealthy and learned stroll in and out, trading knowledge and coin. Yet it also houses misery and madness. Some earth in its rotten course is a man, his hair matted by his eyes alert. He watch and waits, a prisoner by choice. Now the ruins. The acolyte's vision takes you out of Defiance Bay into a town in the wilderness of the watermill. A signpost on one of the paths reads Deerford. Several figures huddle together, shrouded in cloaks and hoods. An image of Rudin suddenly looms in your mind. Two skeletal effigies flank the cleft in a mountainside. Well, shit. Fine, fine. Fine scepter, fine rope. Plates. Orca hood and a lead key. The term godlike doesn't refer to my ability to carry unlimited quantities of war spoils. Are you sure? Is he doing a good job at it so far? Keeping an eye out. Okay, time to look to see if there's anything hidden in this joint. Okay, someone go over there and uh, torque of defiance, neck defiance. Uh, no pack mule. Plus ten concentration. Let's offload this junk. Oh, you're a pack mule now, so shut up. Devotees have placed assorted keys. Their teeth filed away among the tunnels of wax. More copper. I'll take all your monies. Yep, yep, where are you going? And make sure, okay, looted everything. If I go back, I'll have to fight through mercenaries, so, uh, try What's this, this one. Wait, what did you discover? I'm on the trail. What was discovered? And, oh, this takes me directly into first fires? Damn. Oh, wait, is that just the temple it takes me to, or... Hmm. I have no idea. NPCs with gold nameplates resigned by our backers. Interacting with them will allow you to experience each one's unique history. Okay. Yeah, I'm starting to run out of things to say during these loading screens. Apologies. I am becoming boring. No. Okay, I got a letter. Huh. That's interesting. Hello, ghost. Sagan, yeah, goodbye. What is it like not to see your children for so long? I imagine it must be difficult. Even in Masuk, I'm on the hunt more than at home. But five years. It's been a strain. Then to your good fortune. Ado Vidorio. May you see them all again soon. What do I do now? <laughs> I don't know. Lim Kier Fishing is an agent. Hmm. Uh. Okay, I know where the tower is. And, oh, now it's sending me to Deerford Village. So, I guess I ended up going there too early. <laughs> Hi, Deerford. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we got a letter at Cade Nua, though. Hmm, let's talk to some guards, see if they know what's going on. Or what it, some of these things are. Then I have to go back to Copper Lane. And you're not a guard. But you're a soldier. With the Valian Republic, so I doubt it. Uh, go to the Ducal Palace. I'm sure there's a guard there. Hopefully. Shit. Please don't leave your Ducal Palace completely unguarded. That's not good. Uh, 
Uh, here you go. This car. I'm looking for uh, where's Mad Cousin Defiance Way. So there, take the madness away. But there's just many stories coming out of that place that'll chill your blood. There's a man, if you want to call him that. There's still more there. Oh yeah, I've already. I know that one. Parrot to chill. Okay. Hmm. Well, first steps first, we go to Copper Lane. Yep. Copper Lane to talk to the old dude. I tried to open the door for you. Don't look at me like that. You ran back. It's like, no! There's something in front of the door! How am I going to run around in circles now? Oh no. No, Hobby Trail is coming towards me. No. What do you want, you demon cat? He's like, I want your soul, Uncle. Your soul! And then apparently also to lick myself. Why, why do you have to lick yourself in my room? Can't you go somewhere else to lick yourself? I swear, I think he does things to annoy me on purpose. Alright then, now to find the old dude. Hi. Hello! Uh, uh, show him the amulets. The old man studies the amulet. Rowena used to wear this. Where did you get it? Even now, he feels the soul of his beloved, he recognizes the spirit that haunts his memories, his dreams. He would happily drown in them. Yet, what kind of fate is it for his beloved, trapped between lives for his comfort? Uh, from Helig, who's kept your soul trapped inside it for decades. It's time to set her free. Dalton's eyes widen in horror. No, please, after searching for her for so long, just to leave her close to me, to visit her in my dreams, that would be enough. Uh, enough for you, but what about her? If you'd keep her trapped in the same lit for the sake of your own comfort, you're no better than the wizard who imprisoned her. Dalton's expressions with his, you're right, please let me do it. He draws a club with trembling hand and crushes the game in it. As the gem cracks, you feel essence rush from it. The old man looks at the shattered gemstones. Thank you for showing me reason. Perhaps she'll wait for me in the next life. She looks at his hands, shaking. By the flame, she won't have to wait long. Please take this. It's from my old adventuring days. I think it's time I finally let them go. You've gained reputation with Defiance Bay. Moderate. Yay, I gained tax money. Hmm, what to do now? Uh, I got a letter at Cade Nua. But first, I want to find a merchant so I can get rid of all the shit I have piled up. I got lots of shit. Okay, then, uh, pretty sure... Yeah, fuck you. Show me your wares, sir. Uh. And you're full of traps. In other words, things I don't want. Great. Take this random shit from me, please. Well, it's not really random. It's arms and armor. And the occasional trap. In other words, something in your purview anyway. Uh, I don't know if shattered animate armor is used for anything, so I'll be keeping that. Uh, you could take these narcotics. Take this fine scepter, shield, shield at bow. More traps. Pistol, sword. 
Morning Star Trap. Uh, scepter, Hood, uh, Stiletto, Greatsword, Greatsword, hmm, Scepter, Fine Robe, Armor, Armor, Hood, 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 Warhammer. Warhammer or Warhammer 40k? Which do you prefer? Let the wars begin! Shame of glory, Crucible Knights Officer Armor. Uh, measured restraints. Hey, I thought it would be named. Ooh. Dale Irwin Accurate one, fine, vicious. Damn. Okay then, uh. Alright then, that's all the shit I gotta sell. Now, let's head to Cadenua. Why? Because I feel like it. So I go there, rest, and recuperate before... I think I'll go to Sanitarium first. Sanitarium seems like the best option to go to first. For now, anyway. Mostly because there's people there. Now it's Cade Nua! Cade Nua! Now, it is time to consume an airhead while recording. It will not burn your ears, so you should be fine. Party stash can be used for holding excess gear when their inventory is filled up. Some items, like quest items and ingredients, are automatically placed in the stash. Because why not? Also, you don't want to accidentally be selling them quest items. That's bad. It keeps coming along nicely. Ah, oh, isn't it great? This is my keep. That bastard ain't getting it. Gaspin can kiss my ass. Most events at the Stronghold occur over the passage of game time. Tax collection, completion of side ventures, and generation of crafting ingredients occur as you complete quests. Hello, steward. You said you had received a letter. My lord. My lord, you've received a letter. Delivered with some urgency, as it happens. I thought the messenger might swoon, poor dear. It's from Stalwart. Apparently the mayor, Renengild, has heard of your success here at Cadnua, and hopes you can be of aid to her people as well. Uh, what does she want? Stalwart is a mining community, and at one time they enjoyed a great deal of influence. Renengild hopes to reclaim old glories, I expect. It seems she's intent on gaining access to Durgan's battery. And she's offering quite the reward to anyone who can get inside. A reward, she says, for getting into the battery. <laughs> That's a reward of its own, surely. Uh, what is Durgan's battery, since Kana apparently knows? The dwarves of the battery fashioned Durgan steel, and with it they crafted the finest arms and armor the Deerwood has ever known. But the keep has been abandoned for centuries, and none remain that know their secrets. 
There are many legends concerning the battery. As the Earl told it, the Dwarves fought amongst themselves, each seeking to use the battery to further his or her own ambitions. Damn, couldn't they just get Duracell? <laughs> you had to know I'd make that joke. Greed and cruelty brought down the battery, and now the spirits of those same Dwarves roam the halls. Energizer buddy! Whatever happened, the battery has been impenetrable ever since. A shame. I don't doubt that there are great treasures still within those halls. Yeah, perhaps I'll pay Stalwar to visit. I'm sure the wonders of the battery are a marvelous hole, but if the passes through White March were to open again, it would be a boon to the merchants of the Republic. And the deer would, of course. I should mention that among those rumored to have answered Renningild's summons is a certain group I believe you may have an interest in. Followers of Woodica intent on reaching Stalwart and the Battery. I do not know what they seek there, but I thought it worth mentioning, given your interest in the ruins at Defiance Bay. Now that I've delivered Renningild's message, there is also a local matter of some concern, my lord. A mercenary band has been sighted to the northeast. I believe they mean to take Consul Hot's tower, and I don't expect the Archmage will go quietly. The Torn Bannermen are a deadly fighting force, and Consul Hot himself has sent many travelers to their graves. I would caution you to stay clear of the region if you do travel to the White March. It is not that I doubt your courage, my lord, but Consul Hot alone boasts power of a different scale altogether to those foes you have faced thus far. Given more time, perhaps, you will match him. If the Bannermen succeed in their efforts, I fear they may turn their attention to Cad Nua. I will keep you apprised of the situation, my lord. Uh, do you know anything else about these mercenaries? Little enough, I'm afraid. The Torn Bannermen are well supplied and well organized, and there are rumors that they are backed by an unknown benefactor. Could be Harris Dom, no? They have proved remarkably effective in the past, and they are certainly a threat now. And who is this Consul Hart? A feigned Archmage. I am given to understand that the Brackenberry Sanitarium puts much stock in his work, as regards the manipulation of the soul. His spells are widely circulated. But he is poorly regarded in many circles. Some call him a madman, or else cruel and barbarous. He must be very old by now. Perhaps that is why the Torn Bannermen believe they can best him. Alright, then. Thanks for the advice, Stuart. Safe travels, my lord. And, yeah, shit. Uh, time to change all of my plans and go to Stalwarts! Fate. It, do you have the hollowing of the deerwood? Uh, White March, Durgan's Battery, and Siege of Cragholtz. Uh. Hmm. I kind of don't want to. <laughs> no. Okay, then, uh... Hmm. Hmm, if he's a powerful Archmage, but he's cruel, and then mercenaries that have a mysterious backer... It sounds like I should just wipe them out both and take the area for myself. But I'm currently at war with Lord Gaspin. Hmm. So many decisions to make. It is very unclear which path I should take. And you know what? I think it would also be a good time to end the episode. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like and want to comment, subscribe. And remember to follow me on Twitter for channel updates, pictures of dogs and cats, and whatever else I decide to put on there. Goodbye humans and non-humans alike, and good ever applies to you. And thank you for watching. The keeps coming along nicely.